Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review for Sonic Racing for the Apple Arcade on Apple TV. Alright, so the game is loading up here. We get a little disclaimer on data collection. Welcome to Sonic Racing. During your gameplay, we follow your progress through the game by creating a user profile with your characters, inventory, and unlocks. No personally identifiable information is collected from your device for your user profile. So they give you this sort of disclaimer. You have to go up and kind of just have it run down. What I do for my first go here, or what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to play offline. And then I'll probably end up switching to play uh, online. But I'll do offline first and then go online later. But just showing you guys the full disclaimer here and data collection. So you get the opt out sort of notification there. Game's loading up. So what I will say about this game is that it does look pretty. It is uh, easy on the eyes. But unfortunately that's probably, you know, one of the only things I like about the game. You'll see here pretty soon. So, just like our other tutorials, you kind of get, you kind of just get thrown into the game here, and uh, you know what's what's unique about this game? It does feel a lot like a racing game. It looks like you know you're on a, you're on a team. You know you can you can really kind of uh, feel yourself uh, kind of being on a team, like how they do kind of in professional racing, where it's not just kind of you by yourself. You really do feel like you're part of a greater racing team. Well, you can see me here, it's time to get banged up a little bit as the uh, game tries to give me a tutorial. I'm trying to, you know, figure out the handling on the car here. And again, the handling is not good. Um, you know, I, I grew up playing, you know, Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo, on N64, and, uh, you know, that sort of basic uh, dynamics of driving on, on that is what I'm used to and this kind of falls short of it. I don't know if this is trying to be too realistic uh, of a racing game but it just feel, it handles very loosely uh, as the default. And I do start to kind of pick it up here but as you can see the game the game is you know you can't lie the game is very attractive. Uh, they did not skimp on the graphics here it is very uh, bright and I, I think there are settings for you to c control kind of like the graphic setting. So I went ahead and won my first race there. And again, you're on a team there. So it's, it's definitely uh, gives you that sort of racing authenticity. But at the same time, the, the game itself, the handling and all the other things, the, the loading, uh, it, it's just not, um, I don't know, it, it just doesn't do, the, do itself any justice uh, along those lines. It was pretty difficult to edit this video uh, just because, again, the, the music kept cutting out. Uh, again, it took me a while to kind of get back online to, to, to do a race online. But uh, you'll see me kind of navigate around the menu here. So graphic quality, you know, it's on medium right now, so I can't turn it higher. I can manipulate the sounds on and off, music on and off, like, all, like most of our other games. Controls, steering sensitivity is at medium. I don't know if I need the sensitivity higher or lower. I've done medium, but it is just really, it's really bad. I'm not, not a huge fan of this game. These are just more settings. It's the usual. So I'm just kind of going around the menu here. Again, it, it just it is kind of wonky. You do have these wisps. I'm not sure what these do, but it's some sort of uh, what is it? How can I describe it? If you, if you ever played Sonic when it came out when it came out on the on the Dreamcast, 
in the first Sonic game, it reminds me of those little things that uh, kind of can kind of grow, like almost like your little pet type thing. Like, like almost like a, like a Tamagotchi that you can kind of grow, hatch, and kind of uh, form into other things and evolve. But I didn't get deep enough into the game to really care too much about those things. But again, there's there's whips involved, and then when you choose uh, a team or a character, you no, know, yeah, you're, you're not just choosing a single character. You're, you're choosing an entire racing team uh, in this game. So I'm just looking at the leagues here, the seasons. Uh, again, not, not too impressed. Um, I do eventually um, get into a uh, online environment because I wanted to do a quick race, give you guys a quick little demonstration, but it was stopping me for a while because I wasn't online. But um, I was able to kind of figure it out and I uh, was able to get an online race set up here. So Final Fortress, Fort Thunder. Three laps. But yeah, I was turned off about, about this game a lot just because yeah, my, my sound and music kept cutting out when I was just trying to you know get a race set up. So and a lot of the menu, uh, I guess functionality was just kind of just turning me off, kept kicking me out of the game. And the game, the game is it's kind of clunky. It looks nice, but it does run kind of wonky here. Here's my first race against my opponent. So right now I'm leading. But knuckles and okay now I've been overtaken here. And it looks like he has maybe some unlockable characters over on playing. But yeah, it looks like your, your Wisp help you with maybe some of your attacks you have on the other players. Alright, that's the second uh, lap we're getting, we're, we're getting into right now. We're in the second lap. And they set up these little pillars, whatever the where they are to kind of trip you up there. Which I don't like. But luckily I have I've had enough practice here and there uh, with Mario Kart. But again, it takes a little bit of time to kinda of get, get a get a sense of how the dynamics uh, work on this game. The racing games can be difficult to kind of pick up. The steering can be unique in all of them. This is my first racing game that I'm reviewing. So I'll be able to kind of use this as a foundation and, uh, and um, use it as comparison from other racing games I review in the future. But uh, this is not ideal as far as kind of, uh, in my opinion. This would be the first racing game I run to in the Apple Arcade. But I go on to lose this match, so spoiler alert, I lose this race. Um, but you know, I'm going to end my review here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, again, I don't grade this game pre uh, too highly. Um, again, I, I say keep on looking if you're looking for a good a solid racing game to play on here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the review again. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more views and videos. And as always, you can't win if you don't play.